Welcome to the nostalgic world of a quintessential American sitcom from the late 1950s, a time when families gathered around their television sets for wholesome entertainment. Delve into the suburban life of the Cleavers as they navigate the trials and tribulations of growing up and leave it to Beaver. Now, let me pose a question to you. Which classic Hollywood actor in this timeless series became your favorite, leaving an indelible mark on your viewing experience? As we journey through the various roles within the show, it's hard not to appreciate the charm and simplicity that each character brings to the screen. Amidst the array of personalities, did one particular role stand out to you as your favorite, resonating with the essence of Leave It to Beaver? Before we dive into the random facts about the show, consider this. What cherished memory or personal experience do you hold dear in connection to this classic TV series? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below as they add a layer of shared nostalgia to our collective appreciation. Now, let's uncover some random facts about Leave It to Beaver that might surprise you. Did you know that the series holds a special place in television history as a pioneer in portraying suburban family life? The show's enduring popularity lies not only in its humor, but also in its ability to capture the essence of an era. It's fascinating to note that the character of Theodore Beaver Cleaver, played by Jerry Mathers, became an iconic figure in American pop culture. The innocence and misadventures of Beaver contributed to the show's timeless appeal. As we unravel these intriguing facets of Leave it to Beaver, reflect on the bygone era it represents and the lasting impact it has had on generations of viewers. What elements of the show resonate with you the most? Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below, and let's celebrate the enduring charm of Leave it to Beaver together. Your stories add a personal touch to the collective nostalgia we share for this classic sitcom. Leave it to Beaver, a classic American television series that debuted in the late 1950s, emerged as a quintessential portrayal of suburban family life. Created by Joe Connolly and Bob Mosher, the show aired for six seasons, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. Set in the idyllic town of Mayfield, the series followed the Cleaver family, with the affable young protagonist Theodore Beaver Cleaver navigating the challenges of adolescence under the watchful eyes of his wise father, Ward, and loving mother, June. The show's charm lay in its portrayal of everyday family situations, often resolving dilemmas with heartwarming life lessons. The iconic characters, from the mischievous beaver to the well-meaning but sometimes befuddled ward, endeared themselves to audiences and became cultural touchstones. The series' unique style lay in its wholesome humor and genuine depiction of familial relationships, a departure from the prevailing trends of the time. Leave it to Beaver contributed significantly to shaping the sitcom genre, setting a standard for family-oriented television that would influence generations to come. Its impact on popular culture endures, making it a timeless representation of the American family experience. Ranked 28 in TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Dads of All Time, Ward Cleaver, portrayed by Hugh Beaumont in the 1957 TV series Leave it to Beaver, left a lasting impression on audiences. However, few may know that off-screen, Beaumont held a Master of Theology degree from the University of Southern California and was an ordained minister. While Ward Cleaver dispensed fatherly wisdom on screen, Beaumont's background in theology adds an intriguing layer to the character. His portrayal goes beyond the typical sitcom dad, bringing a depth that resonated with viewers. Beaumont's real-life role as an ordained minister contrasts with the everyday challenges faced by the Cleaver family. The juxtaposition of Ward Cleaver's on-screen persona with Beaumont's theological background adds nuance to the show's cultural impact. As we delve into the layers of Leave it to Beaver, it becomes evident that the series not only entertained, but also reflected the diverse experiences of its cast. Beaumont's academic and professional background contributed to the authenticity of Ward Cleaver, making him more than just a fictional TV dad. The 1957 TV series, Leave it to Beaver, continues to stand as a testament to the complexities and nuances within the seemingly simple suburban family setting. Ward Cleaver, both on and off screen, embodies the multidimensional nature of the show, making it a timeless representation of family life. Eddie Haskell, the conniving character in the 1957 TV series, quickly became known as one of TV's 10 biggest brats, ranking at two according to TV Guide. His role, portrayed with flair by actor Ken Osmond, added a touch of mischief to the Cleaver family dynamic. While the show centered on the wholesome life of the Cleavers, Eddie's antics provided a contrasting element that resonated with viewers. 
Interestingly, the actress Jerry Weil, who played Judy Hensler, faced a unique challenge. Puberty struck, prompting the wardrobe department to intervene. However, Weil refused to comply with measures to conceal these changes, leading to her departure from the show. Her journey post Leave It to Beaver took a surprising turn as she transitioned from acting to becoming a successful real estate agent. Despite this, while occasionally reconnected with her former co-stars Jerry Mathers and Tony Dow, showing the lasting impact of the Leave It to Beaver experience. Adding to the show's intrigue is the discovery of the lost pilot episode in 1987. This hidden gem, found after years of being elusive, provides a glimpse into the initial vision and development of the series. Unearthing this piece of television history offers fans a chance to explore the beginnings of the iconic show. In the world beyond the screen, Jerry Wilde's journey and the rediscovery of the pilot episode contribute to the multifaceted legacy of Leave it to Beaver. The series, with its blend of heartwarming family moments and mischievous characters, remains a timeless representation of family life in the late 1950s. Jerry Mathers, the young star of the iconic family sitcom, expressed a desire to step away from acting and focus on education as he entered high school. Despite the show's ongoing success, this decision led to a unique milestone in television history. Leave it to Beaver became the first primetime American production to conclude with a series finale, marking the end of an era in family-oriented programming. The series, known for its wholesome portrayal of suburban family life, faced an unexpected conclusion as Jerry Mathers pursued his educational goals. The decision to halt production showcased a commitment to the well-being and aspirations of the young actor, emphasizing the importance of education even within the entertainment industry. The impact of this decision extended beyond the small screen. It underscored the significance of personal growth and education, echoing the values often imparted within the Cleaver household. This unexpected turn in the show's trajectory not only reflected real-life priorities, but also left an indelible mark on the history of American television. As we reflect on the unique conclusion of Leave it to Beaver, it serves as a testament to the balance between the demands of show business and the pursuit of personal goals. Jerry Mather's decision to retire from acting for educational pursuits became a defining moment for the series, highlighting the value placed on education even in the world of entertainment. This unexpected turn in the show's trajectory not only reflected real-life priorities, but also left an indelible mark on the history of American television. The legacy of Leave it to Beaver, both on and off screen, continues to resonate, showcasing the enduring influence of this classic family sitcom. As we bid adieu to the nostalgia-laden realms of suburban Americana painted by a certain timeless television narrative, we find ourselves wandering down memory lanes where white picket fences stood tall and innocence was the protagonist of an era. The 1957 gem, a hallmark of its time, crafted a tapestry of familial charm and life's quaint lessons. Have you ever found yourself strolling through the gentle echoes of Beaver's adventures, contemplating the simplicity of days gone by? The charm of the Cleaver household, with its humor and warmth, has an uncanny knack for transcending time, making us ponder the essence of our own journeys. Reflect on those moments when you found solace in the black and white hues of familial bonds as young Beaver navigated the labyrinth of life, often with hilarious missteps. Perhaps it's the way Ward and June encapsulated the epitome of parental wisdom, or maybe the misadventures of Theodore and his brother Wally stirred up echoes of your own youth. In this mosaic of shared memories, your own experiences take center stage. How did Leave it to Beaver touch your heart? Did it illuminate aspects of your own upbringing or resonate with the gentle cadence of your familial anecdotes? Let the narrative unravel in the comments below, a communal tapestry woven by diverse recollections, proving that, even in the digital age, the resonance of a well-spun tale from 57 can echo in the chambers of our hearts. Your stories, reflections, and musings are the threads that bind us in this shared nostalgia. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane, weaving the past into the present, and sharing the timeless spirit of a show that transcends generations. For now, dear reader, as we close this chapter, we tip our hats to the shared tapestry of memories immortalized by the indelible ink of human connection. Until our narratives intersect again, thank you for your time and the stories you carry within.